I'm trying to learn to approach reroll as a backup option in case you're low on HP in stage three, two, three, five, or early stage four. If you're low HP, but you don't have enough gold to really like right, go right, eight yeah. and play against someone that's streaking and contesting you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess in those situations, it's like Zyra, uh, Zoe, like maybe Bard, if you're three-way contested Ash and you're dying. Yeah. Yeah. What I would say is Bard is a fringe case. You kind of want to play Bard if you have the artifacts for Bard. Right. That's like the main condition to play Bard. If you're just playing Bard from any standard spot, you're not going to be in a good, good position. If you really want to play reroll, you should play, you know, the solid reroll comps. I think you get to them. So Zyra is a good example of one. If you want, you could potentially play like a three cost duelist reroll. And even mm -hmm. if it's not consistent, if you have AD items, that's probably your best shot from that spot. So there that's are like things... probably if you're considering going Ash or Kaisa and it's like heavily contested in your poor yeah. and low HP. Yeah. Uh, Cause you can still stabilize off of it. Like if you, it's very easy to stabilize on three, two with duelists. If you get to that spot, like with the interest of 80 items, right? I think that's mm -hmm. probably going to be like a very solid stabilization point. If you can get there, I think that, uh, I mean, Zyra obvious, or, or I said Zyra, I think Janna also pretty playable with AP items. It's not like amazing. It's not like, it's not the greatest thing, but it's still, it's, it's not exactly. It's like you're hoping for top five, right? In that yeah. Situation. You're kind of, you're kind of just hoping for top five, but you know, what? I think, I do think that if you are, for example, I would, what I would suggest, especially if it seems like you're being contested on some of your units, like, let's say you re you, you roll down on three, two, you hit some of your upgrades. And you get to the end of stage three, right? And you don't have additional copies and you don't have a reroll augment. It's probably best to just use those units as sort of like, and maybe four, five it. So if I'm playing like ghostly Zyra, but I don't happen to have like, and you know, I had Zyra two on three, two, but it comes to like four, one, and I don't have any additional Zyras, you're most likely better off just pushing the levels and you continuously hold the Zyra up, you know, if you three star it, you three star it. Uh, otherwise, you know, I think you're better off not reroll. So, so, you know, this, I'm kind of changing my tune from last time <laughs> in a bit, in a way, I think that one of the more important things for this to it's kind of patch the space. It's just that like, because nobody is rerolling right now. You it, really only want to be going for the three star if you can kind of be like, I can hit this at a reasonable time, right? So like, let's say I do my roll down on three, two, and I get like six sirens, right? That's very different than if I do my roll down and I only hit the two star Zyra and nothing else, right? Um, right. Or like two star Jan or something like that, right? Uh, depending on how many of the units you are, you kind of have to start thinking about what you want to do with the comp. Right. If you have an augment that enables those specific units, then you probably want to reroll. If you have a lot of those units, you can reroll them. But it's actually, there's like a sort of more nuanced decision now because, because it's just so hard to hit a lot of the times. Like if I, like normally in a reroll meta at three, two, and I sort of roll for my units and I have three and I stabilize my board, I can realistically still hit three star. Right. If there's, you know, maybe two other people in the lobby. I think most of the time you won't see people re-rolling. So at that point, probably just worth it to say, okay, I have this really strong mid game now. I can potentially four five it and transition to board. And, and and the nice part about like, you know, Zyra Ghostly, you can actually stabilize on two star Zyra for a very long time. It's the same thing with Janna. If I have like a two star Janna and a two star Diana, that's pretty good. Like I can I can actually use that as a stabilization point. And then it'll kind of afford me the ability to maybe go level eight a little bit later than other people, as long as you sort of, you know, like Jan Janna, for example, it's very easy for me to go from Janna then to potentially play, you know, either legendaries or even like Lilia, if you're sort of open to taking what's in your shops. Um, but yeah, yeah, that, that's sort of what I would suggest. Like, I think reroll, you can still play for reroll, right? That's very, it's still like a very viable strategy, but you just have to be like a bit more careful with it. 
So there's no point in saying like, roll, you roll all your gold on three, two, and you don't have enough copies to just like continuously dig, dig in that spot. Right. So that's, that's sort of one, a byproduct of the meta two, just sort of how, how it goes. But yeah, it's, it's a very, it's a very, I'd say if you were to break it down to like three main things to look out for is like one number of units, right? That's the first thing. Two is augment, right? Those are the first two. Those are the most important thing, right? Either you have a very good augment for it or two, you have a lot of those units rerolling definitely on the table. The third is just like paying attention to econ and how much health, you, you know, where you stay. It's, it's sort of like just a general game state, looking at how, you, how you're doing compared to the rest of the law, right? If you keep those three things in mind, then you can sort of evaluate, okay, is this a good spot for me to reroll? Otherwise, you know, you push the levels, right? If I'm given a bunch of Teemos, for example, Teemo 3 is actually, I think, quite strong. It's just that you have to get to team 03 right uh, and a lot of things along those lines but if you can get there i think that you know it's definitely still a viable option like you know what what is that the one augment that gives you the free two costs every level like caretakers oh. the, the mm -hmm. silver Ally. caretakers right that's like a very like that's kind of pseudo reroll in a sense right because you're guaranteed the three-star unit and as long as you know you have like i think like three copies is like generally where you want to be so if you can roll into three copies and you're guaranteed the three star by level eight, right? And that's sort of one of those things where you can play around the low cost units because you know you're going to three star it, right? So it's all about understanding if you're in a spot to three star the unit or not. If you're in a good spot to three star the unit and you know the comp is decent, then, you know, that, that all the power to you. If the spot isn't great, then just use those units as a mid-game stabilizer and then try to go from there.